Hi, Michael Goldman here from the University of Pretoria's Gordon Institute of Business Science. One of the things that struck us about the conversation uh, since Sir Alex Ferguson announced his retirement from Manchester United a few days ago uh, was really a conversation about whether he is the greatest manager ever. Uh, and, and many of the commentators, uh, both in the footballing fraternity and as well as the management fraternity, have really questioned what kind of manager Alex Ferguson was. Questions about the hairdryer moments and the kind of temper he had and the kind of control he had. In, in, at one level, he's been called the, the Steve Jobs of Manchester United, which raises interesting questions. What we've done over the last few days is really look at some of that press coverage and some of the statements that have come uh, out of Old Trafford uh, and wanted to share a few thoughts with you and encourage you to share in this debate and continue the conversation. One of the things that struck us about the press statement that came out uh, from Sir Alex Ferguson was really how he talked about his focus over the last 27 years at building a football club as opposed to just a football team and really defined his role over the last 27 years as a broader manager than just a first team manager. Uh, and so focusing strongly on his investment in the youth setup, focusing strongly on his investment and involvement in facilities uh, and the sports science investments and really the focus around building more than just a team. And I think that maybe does position him as more of a manager than just a coach and raises some interesting questions about what we can learn in the management space uh, from someone like Sir Alex Ferguson. I think five key things stand out for us uh, as key points to take on board around what we can learn from Alex Ferguson. The first is this issue of building a skilled team around you. And if you look at what he's done over the last few years, is really build a, a lot of assistant coaches and skilled sports scientists around uh, the, the first team and all the other teams to make sure that it's not just him making those decisions. Uh, and I think that's very interesting to, to raise some questions about how we do that as managers. The second one is how he's evolved over time. And so someone who's been in the same job uh, for 27 years uh, perhaps can get a bit stayed in some of his approaches. And so what's interesting is how he's evolved, how he's embraced different technologies, different approaches, uh, and how he's constantly brought in new thinking and new approaches with new generations of players uh, is something to, to think about in terms of how we do that as managers. The third, the third one is this issue of him being perhaps the Steve Jobs of Manchester United and the kind of control he had and the kind of personality he was. And that's a balance perhaps between strong control, but at the same time, many of the people who have close interactions with him talk about how he's such a people person uh, and perhaps some, unlike some other managers that, that we talk about, uh, so Alex Ferguson was really able to connect with other individuals at a very human level. Uh, and, and that perhaps does set him apart uh, from many others. Fourthly, the strong focus on competition. He was fiercely competitive, uh, and many of the commentators of the last few days have reflected on, on his drive and his competitiveness on the field and off the field. Uh, that has resulted, for example, in the kind of practice sessions he'd have uh, where the team would be challenged to win a game in 10 minutes or five minutes or three minutes, or perhaps the kind of Alex Ferguson time uh, that referees allowed at the end of the game. Uh, and so this real focus on competitiveness, which I think certainly managers to Day of, are very focused on taking on board. And then the fifth one, I guess, is really around brand and the involvement of Sir Alex Ferguson in building a global Manchester United brand. Uh, certain analysts have suggested that the brand value now of Manchester United is over 2.2 billion US dollars. Uh, and, and many people have reflected on how much of that is Sir Alex Ferguson's contribution. Uh, and so going forward, his role as an ambassador to the club, his role as a director uh, and, and constantly being involved in the club may, may serve the brand really, really well. So, so five key points that I guess after a few days of reflecting on the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson raised questions about what kind of manager he was and what kind of manager we should all be uh, in our different organizations. And so the question we return to is, is he the greatest manager ever? Uh, tweet us. Uh, we look forward to uh, your, your contributions and continuing the conversation.